Would you end Ozzy to end sickos, dude? I would. And I love Ozzy Osbourne to death. I would take a bullet for that man. There are some allegations surrounding Jeffree Star. I don't know if they're true or not. But regardless, fuck sickos. Regardless. We're in for an interesting one today because... As all of the detractors, all of the trolls, you, me, the guy down the street, we all understand that Jessica is an absolute train wreck. She is a harpy that is existing inside of Josh's life, yet he continuously is trying to defend her, even when clear and obvious uh, presentations are given showing horrible things she's done in the past, horrible things she's doing today. And he, I think, is starting to reach this point that he understands, well, this is it. That's all I got. <laughs> and, and that's just how he's going to move forward. The most interesting aspect is that 4chan, or the farms, one of the two, I forget which one, just found an interesting post on a forum back in the day when Jessica allegedly... I'm going to say allegedly throughout this, worked at Home Depot. Now, we know that she is uh, the, the queen of the bathtub currently, but apparently at some point in her life, she was exploring the, the depths of restocking shelves at Home Depot. But this post, which was from June of 2016, basically talks about the fact that they saw Jessica posted up on like an employee board or whatever, and that they are alleging that she had posted this guy's daughter on Craigslist asking for sex. Now, this, this girl was underage and she was getting harassed in phone calls and pictures and messages from all these creeps because Jessica put her information online. Now, what could possibly possess somebody to do that? That's just, that's so out of the ordinary for Jessica. What, being a vindictive asshole? No, that's, that's ridiculous. I would never believe that coming from her. The, the likelihood is Jessica somehow interacted with this chick online in some regard, got pissed off, took her information, threw it up online to try and get revenge against her, I suppose. And it just so happened that she was a minor. It doesn't absolve any of the shit because it's grotesque. I had a friend in college who had to go through a very similar situation. Now, she was underage, but her roommate and her had a falling out. And her roommate thought, ah, I'll just post her information on Craigslist and just absolutely ruin her social life. That's epic. That's very cool. Now, Josh, as, as we saw in the beginning, was claiming that he doesn't fuck with sickos. Uh, sickos. I'm, I'm, I'm not down the clown with that. We're getting rid of that. Well, let's, let's see if he actually lives up to this new information that is pre presented. Probably not. Probably not. He's probably gonna ignore it. He's probably gonna say the trolls are trying to unearth stuff. But I think a post from eight years ago, before Jessica had any relevance online, it probably has some amount of validity to it right now could this be doctored probably but i don't know which side of the fence i want to take as of now based on jessica's personality and everything else that she's ever done i'm gonna believe that this is true now we're gonna go through a lot of other things that cobra's done including the interview he just did discussing jessica so let's get into that enough babbling greetings fellow youtubers a meet update as i am moving out I need to finish off the mead. It was down pretty low, so I topped it off. When you're moving, and the less food you have when you're moving, the easier it is to move. You can always restock at your uh, other location, yes. And I, I like, I door dash my shit, so it's, it is what it is. Gosh, having less things to move when you move is uh, makes the experience much easier. That's most definitely what is up. He's figuring it out, YouTubes. Less carrying equals less moving. That's most definitely what is up. And I don't even know what he would want to bring because I've moved a couple times throughout my life. And for the most part, yeah, you kind of plan like a week ahead. Like, all right, well, 
for this upcoming week, I'm not going to really buy all that much stuff. Like, I'm not going to buy things that are going to sit on the shelf for a while. It's going to be, like, instant foods I'm going to eat right away. And then, like, the other things you might have left are, like, some condiments. You know, like, maybe I could take that, but am I really going to transport $20 worth of condiments <laughs> to the new place I'm moving to? I don't know. I mean, Josh is in dire straits, obviously, so... Uh, he, he might want to figure that out when he gets transported to his new location. And oh yeah, the King Cobra subreddit got deleted. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck the trolls. They can suck my fucking ass crack. Dirty flamingo fart fuckers. The subreddit is controversial among different sects of the commentary community of these locales. I kind of liked it because it was my main avenue of getting information. The downside was I had to go to Reddit. <laughs> I fucking hate going to Reddit. Reddit fucking blows. And, you know, the community wasn't really at fault. I'm assuming that Josh went through a mass flagging campaign because it seemed like they had a couple backup subreddits that also got nuked. So I don't know where they're moving to now. It makes it a little bit frustrating. It's kind of similar to when Only Use Me Blade got kicked off of all these different streaming platforms. It's like, okay, well, how am I going to keep up with them? You know, the, the further you get pushed into the back of the internet, the harder it is I'm going to remember to look up information. So subreddit's dead. Uh, Willie's dead also, by the way. So it's a very sad day. So here's the result of that food hack. I had to reheat it to, to do a review. I've already had like two of them. They're pretty good. Although I have not tried it with the sauce. It's like fucking shit, dude. All right. Now, I'm not one of those purists that is like, oh, when you have a hot dog, you can't have any char in it. Uh-uh. You need like, I don't know, maybe it's like a 40% spread of char on your wiener before you gobble it down. All right. Because... It just, it, it, it adds an interesting flavor. The problem is his is a completely black dog. Don't know what's going on there. And he's covered it with toothpicks and fucking cheese and bacon bits. And he's going to add some dressing on top. I mean, I don't know what I should be expecting from Josh anymore at this point with his food hacks. But I thought that at the very least, I could, I, a hot dog is something that I could get down the clown with if you're just going to fucking make it messy. Add some chili to it, add a bunch of different toppings, onions, cheese, who cares? That all makes sense to me. But make the dog not black, bro. <laughs> Come on. My girlfriend's a fan of Jeffree Star, so that's why uh, I have it. And it's food. Mm. Putting the horseradish and ranch on top is actually a great idea. Filming your food hack while you're running the dishwasher is most definitely what is up YouTube. I don't even record videos in my kitchen, obviously, but whenever I have my washer dryer running, my whatever, my, my dishwasher, something else is cooking, whatever. I'm not filming, I'm not recording, because I think it's annoying. You know, there have been times that I've had like storms going on outside, or at one point, I think I filmed on 4th of July and there are fireworks going off. That's just absolutely regarded. Me, you included. Can't be doing that, Cobes. Can't be doing that. Now, a follow-up. The, the fact that Jessica likes Jeffree Star is enough for me to know I can throw this person into the trash. Now, I'm not involved in that community at all. I can just, based on looks, look, sorry, sorry, is that too judgmental? Should I say, well, it's it, it's what matters on the inside, guys. Well, I, apparently what's on the inside is also bad. <laughs> but don't worry, Jessica's a fan, so I know to stay as far away from that as possible. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm very anti hearing a crunch when you bite into a fucking hot dog, bro. What is that? What is that? It sounded like he was eating a bag of chips. Get that shit out of here. Right, so okay, let's get serious for one second. Are you happy? 
Are you happy? I'm content. Yeah. Well, that's good. I want you to be fucking I'm content. I'm my apartment, but I've got a new place. I'm not going to say when I'm moving out. Or no, when. I know. So what do you think it is? You think it's trolls? Yeah, the trolls have been bullying the conquistadors nonstop for like the last five fucking six years. And the new owners had enough of it. They just, we got some new owners. Yeah. And the YouTube trolls are leaving a bunch of bullshit reviews on the Google reviews. Yeah. And the new owners were not aware of the whole situation. They were mortified. Josh legitimately thinks that in the five, six years that he's lived at this apartment complex, that he hasn't been kicked out until Jessica has come around. But no, it's the troll's fault, guys. It's the troll's fault. Surely, correlation does not equal causation in this point of view, because Jessica shows up twice, he gets in trouble horribly both times, and the second time, he mysteriously is getting evicted. That's odd, YouTube. That's weird. And, you know... At this point, he is, like, deathly afraid of Jessica. I think it's pretty obvious because he never he never acknowledges that he loves her. I mean, we, we saw the cemetery video of him saying nothing in response to that. Her saying, I want to be buried with you. What the fuck is that? And he's only content with the relationship. He's content in the same regard that he's got to hold the fill. And that's about it, right? He, he, could, he could dig up the the cut up remains of his sex doll and I think he'd also be content with that point of view. Now if you haven't kept up, there are speculations that Josh is actually buying a an trailer somewhere. Now that's gonna be epic. Trailer Park Boy Saga with Cobra is most definitely what is up. He said he can smoke inside of his new YouTube room or whatever and allegedly it's too small for Jessica to be able to fit inside. I don't know how that works out, but that's a pretty funny excuse from Josh. Courtney Knight, um, ask him if he and Nal are engaged. We are not. We are not. He just bought her a fucking moon rock, which is a dank ass fucking ring, dude. It's beautiful. That's so fire opal, yes. Um, you're gonna you're just gonna go rent though, right? You're not buying anything. Tell me to well, I got something bought, yes, just waiting patiently. I will be able to smoke in my new place, too, but only in my YouTube room. Yeah, because it's your place, dude. That's why. It's your place. That's fucking awesome, dude. Now, this moment here is why people think they bought a trailer somewhere. It's because he said he bought something. I'm still kind of skeptical with it because, first off, is Clint just going to be throwing around, I don't know, 20 grand? I don't know how much a trailer cost. I'm sorry. I'm just speculating here. Is he going to just throw away 20 grand for Josh to burn down that bitch in like 12 seconds. Maybe, maybe he's done with having to deal with landlords, but I don't know. I don't know what this park looks like. Maybe the, the houses are too close to each other. And at that point, he's going to get way more fucking <laughs> disputes going on there than in his apartment building. Probably. I really don't know, but he, he, he's at least looking forward to it, right? YouTube. That's what really matters. Josh is just, He's, he's, he's all peaches and roses. He's, he's saying, oh yeah, you know, I'm upgrading, baby. I got a YouTube smoke room now. Jessica won't figure out where I'm at. I own it now, which is confusing because he obviously doesn't have any money because <laughs> he's always crying and complaining about being negative four bajillion dollars in debt and everybody has to help him out to get out of it. So I don't know. He's going to have this air of confidence, and he even says it later that he's like, oh yeah, well the trolls, they, they don't have an apartment, they don't have a girl. I think his like perception of who we are on the internet is, is wildly, wildly skewed. Is she okay with you having female friends? <laughs> like me? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's fine with it, as long as I don't cheat on her. Uh, no, she isn't, Josh. She's going to be mad at you for this. No, she's fucking not. She's super cool with, uh, fangirl Kate and I are fucking peas and carrots, dude. And she's good with fangirl Kate. And she's a close friend of yours, dude. So she's good well, with that. I'm not doing anything with you except doing a little live stream. Yeah. And I stream with her all the time. So it's not like that's on her channel to help her channel grow. Yep. Know. So she... 
everybody here just has complete amnesia. I remember the first visit with with Jessica. She was having a fucking conniption over fangirl Kate in chat. She couldn't stand that bitch. She banned her like instantly. She doesn't like the idea of Josh associating with other females because Jessica is ultimately so, 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 so in the doldrums with everything about her. She has no confidence in herself. I mean, all of these things that are detriments in her eyes are kind of valid <laughs> at the end of the day. So I see where she's coming from. But she proceeds to go on and call Josh repeatedly throughout this stream because she's crying, complaining about things that they're talking about. And, oh, why don't you care about me, Josh? She's like the most jealous person in the entire world. And it's like, if you're going to be jealous, you have to be hot right there has to be a counterbalance you can't be ugly and also be jealous that's just like a fucking devil's two we're about to roll the third strike living with me at the moment no but she does want to move to casper really <laughs> she wants to get her own place and move to casper so she can be closer jessica absolutely adores casper wyoming She's she does good She's like, it's a really pretty town. And I'm like, she sees what I see, you know. And yeah, comments like you, so Micah, cool. Mayhem. Her trolls and my trolls have all been trying to break us apart. I think and so. All I can do is just keep trying. I also just want to make it clear. I think Courtney is unbelievably annoying. Unbelievably annoying. I can't stand listening to her. And yeah, just the fact that anybody believes that the trolls are trying to tear these two apart there's some truth within that but at the same time maybe that's how it was at the very beginning when she showed up but now people are genuinely trying to say hey man you're actually destroying your life the the, the more time you spend with her and the longer this goes on the worse your life is going to turn out but he's never going to believe that. And even if he does kind of believe that on the inside, he doesn't have a support system around him that's going to be like, Hey Josh, this chick absolutely fucking sucks. And not not just because she has a cam girl pass. By the way, don't look that up. Alright, I, I accidentally stumbled upon it. It was it was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. Oh, oh I'm having fucking shivers thinking about it now. But it's not just because she sucks. She also blows way too seriously and i'm working with her on that that's not a bad thing because i used to be just like jessica in that respect i get way too fucking like and i'm like it's people on the fucking internet who gives a shit what their opinion is yeah that, that's just the attitude you gotta have anymore Bill ru says courtney did you hear the audio of their last fight that is some messed up shit there's audio of your last fight because one of my fucking fans called me and Jessica answered my phone and she was drunk. That's pretty much how that went. Okay. And I asked her, why the fuck are you answering my phone? I don't go through your phone without permission. Like I'm trying to be a solid boyfriend to her. Okay. And she's so used to like being abused and treated like shit that like, and that's the thing of it. I've come to realize is that the people you date create your dating behavior patterns to a point and that's nothing against jessica but any stretch of the imagination but like when you're used to being treated like shit on a dating scene you're going to act a certain way because like mentally you feel like you don't deserve it yeah when you're treated like shit youtube you're gonna threaten the love of your life to just take them out in the most blunt action gruesome way possible that's most definitely what is up and you just don't understand love trolls all right get that shit out of here also that's not how the fucking fight was recorded she was live streaming because she live streams literally everything in her entire life her brain is the size of a fucking raisin so she can't understand when she has her audio muted or unmuted and she left it unmuted maybe intentionally who knows and then proceeds to go into the kitchen and argue with josh about a bacon grease pan and then threaten to kill him <laughs> <laughs> That's most definitely what is up, YouTube. And he's trying to blur the lines of what was actually going down. But we all know that she is just trying to control every aspect of Josh's life. And he hates that. He hates that his life is ruled by Jessica the troll. That's Jessica threatened Josh with a machete. Did she threaten you with a machete? 
No, she did not. She was threatening someone else. Oh my god! People guys. like to fuck with her nonstop, like they like to fuck with me, and you know. Yeah. That's the thing of it. I don't expect to have a supermodel. You know, I see what I look like. Yep. And that's why they attack me for it. Gia says that. Does Cobra want to have a child with Jessica? <gasps> you paused. You paused. I paused. Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. So Josh goes on the claim and say that he doesn't want to have a kid with her. That's not what's in the cards. We've heard him say he doesn't want to get married. He doesn't want her to move in until he has his clock tower dream mansion which is never going to happen so we're all spared from that but i still don't think that is going to prevent jessica from trying to get pregnant and uh that's going to be the biggest nightmare that will ever come to fruition that's everything that we are all afraid of and it's it's always cute whenever josh is trying to explain the uh the aspects of jessica that he likes and i guess he likes the fact that She's not a supermodel, so I'm not expecting a supermodel. <laughs> you know, at the very least, whenever you're in a relationship, your, your heart should tell you that you are dating somebody that's the most attractive person that you are ever going to interact with. And at the very least, you should try and lie if that if you don't actually feel that way. Right. You know, try and try and save their feelings a little bit. But uh Josh is uh, incapable of showing that amount of empathy for somebody. So you hope for the next one that doesn't get scared off. And I'm not saying she will get scared off. I'm not saying anything. But that's just my perspective. People are sitting there fucking getting me kicked out of my flats. And fucking scared off chicks that I try to hang with. And it's stupid. Because they don't have their own flats. And they can't get girlfriends. They spent all day hating Cobra. It's not on my... He just rubbed me right here and bit me on the wrist. Ollie. What do they do? They mark you. Why? Oh, you see, you don't like that. You don't like. Everyone keeps see. saying, like, 124.30. She does something. Please, get your fucking claws. Here, let's get the blankie on the back of your... She's yeah. not doing anything. You. Fucking you. You're, fine. You're fine. I guarantee you nothing happened. People are just trying to fucking like make it into a bigger deal than it is. Yeah, they said like uh 12430. So she does something. Y'all said that she punched this cat, dude. Like y'all said that she punched a cat. I don't think she would punch a cat, to be honest. All right, 145 now? Y'all are fucking killing me right now, dude. Y'all are full of shit. She never punched no cat. Oh, the cat um, loves the right, 144.50. Eat shit. Let's go. Eat shit. Exactly. I trust you, Jessica Mesco. Let's do it. We're here. We're at the fucking point. I love Fuck it. Jessica Mesco. Where's the proof? Y'all are saying that there's some fucking shit that's going to happen right now. I've watched so much of this broad. She just fucking sits in her room, dude. I was just petting you. Dude. I highly doubt that Jessica was intentionally smack her cat. Are you out for blood? Look, you want me. me. I don't want you near me. I think. Oh! I don't want you near me. She wasn't abusing it. Yeah, she was never mind, dude. She shouldn't have dropped the cat though, like that, though, dude. Uh, you're That's fucking it. lucky you had a sweater on, dude. I'd, I'd fucking send you to SPCA right fucking now. So now we get into the trolls are at fault for everything and the whole cat thing, because I guess Courtney likes cats or some shit. And in all honesty, in terms of this clip, I mostly just see Jessica grabbing the cat by the nape of its neck, which isn't the worst reaction to it. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe she hit it. Maybe she punched it. Maybe she was, uh, you know, trying to duke it out, you know, trying to uppercut, maybe throw a sucker punch in there. Maybe I missed that aspect. But in terms of the grabbing the cat by the nape of the neck, I think there's much worse things. I think we've seen other locales do much worse things to their pets. And... 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I do think that it is a sign that we should be more vigilant because it wouldn't surprise me if she does just neglect and abuse her cats all the time. It wouldn't surprise me. But uh, in terms of this instance, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she's getting bit by the cat. Kind of annoying. You kind of have to assert your dominance a little bit, but I don't know. I'm not trying to take the side of Jessica here. She aggressive to you though, like that? Yes, she's attractive to me, and she's aggressive, aggressive to me, and she politely she... asked that we quit talking about her on screen. Josh, is she abusive to you though? About like, uh, like the way? No, you... she's not. Part one was found. Stop playing Jessica shit. Just what? stop. Stop talking about it on your fucking channel, please. Just stop. Okay. It's giving me anxiety, and I don't want to fucking deal with the fucking repercussions. Okay. Stop! Fucking assholes! Courtney! I'm, sh I'm stopping it right now. It's gone. Stop it right now. I'm serious. And this is the hook, line, and sinker for all of us to understand that Josh knows that everything that's going down is bad. He understands and oh it's giving her anxiety guys. Her her faults and her truths of what she is live streaming online are being clipped and uploaded for everybody to see just how a horrible person she is. And just like Josh, whenever he does horrible shit or any other little cow and they're like, oh my God, they're taking all my shit out of context. They don't even understand. It's like, holy fuck, it's still you on the video, right? You're still there, right? And he's going to piss and moan. He, he fucking sucks. I mean, anybody that still has sympathy for Josh is an absolute fucking regard. There is no point anymore that any of us should feel any sympathy. I'm, I'm looking forward to the downfall of this relationship. Who knows? This whole new sicko allegations might uh, actually bring the end to it, and maybe she'll go batshit insane. Who knows? But uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.